run into the future. Past, I'm done with that. But if I need to, then I'm coming back. Yeah, that's a fact. BA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We are all set to go as it'll be. inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault and that's bank of america stadium in uptown charlotte today it's a week nine matchup we are all set to go as it'll be the washington commanders taking on the carolina panthers the first two months of the regular season down what will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine and we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Sanders to begin the drive. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Young now. And got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, 
makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. The Panthers at two and six now in a year. Now they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind. And a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Getting into the act on the opening drive here with a sack. And remember, they have five last week. And they saw that on film, and that meant that they had to get together. Offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, offensive line coach, receivers coach, and say, how do we beat this pressure? Because everyone has to win against the defense and get the ball out of the hands of the quarterback very quickly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. It always sucks for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll start the drive with a give to right. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level, and sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip, and I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw here. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he's going to get this down at the 35-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You look at his Carolina defense. This unit, they've struggled a little bit against the pass, ranked number 21 in the league. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll or they chip away at their timing. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And some space here. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. And motion left goes a tight end. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking for the corner, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7 nothing.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. On the double. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, this defense for the Commanders, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Young. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football, and there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Ready. He stiff arms him and bulldozing his way through. It's a carry on a first down on a game of 16. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what his team's looking for. A really good change of pace back. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48 yard line. They'll try to throw now. Young. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Okay, ready? Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Young to throw it. That is caught by Thielen. Shoves him aside. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. A big play there for Carolina. 54 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. This close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. Try again. 
And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are an extra point away from drawing level. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. Are you one of those early holiday shoppers? Are you one of those guys to get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. Now a play fake here on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third down and six. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And Washington has taken the lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to the same result had he opted for the touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. 
When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Shot, 17. Six, mega. Cut, cut. Young on first down. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for Carolina. 45 yards. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Here's second and seven. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. On the set. Second and seven. Black Ultra. Ready. From the shotgun, it's Young. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Set, cut. Set. Throwing, Young. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Aiden Hurst, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. 
I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Looking to throw. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. Down the right sideline, Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington! Terry McLaurin, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And they're on 21 yard line. Let's go now. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, looking back to that first quarter, they struggled, but now here in quarter two, they seem to have some rhythm. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to us because when we were in the production meetings, we asked a few of the players about, hey, what if things get a little rocky early? They all said the exact same thing. We're prepared, so we're confident things will work out. And so far, they have started to do so. Those three words we hear a lot, stay the course. They work now on second and nine. Now Young. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And they just get the playoff. Now Young. He's got his target. That's complete. Now inside the 25. And down to the 19-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Trouble 38, Green Jack. You yellow. Hut, hut. Young to throw it. Flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already. So you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Right. Young. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he 
is inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First and goal at the three-yard line. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Strike two. Ready? Young. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. play of the half, Young. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half Charles remember in that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance absolutely they reached the end zone several times the passing game working awfully well and most importantly partner yeah, they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throw the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 
A very solid gain of 27. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. So front Panther territory now. It's first and 10 down at the 33. He'll drop to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. He's got room to roam. Touchdown, Washington! Gerald Everett, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Commanders are able to stretch out their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. Now they send a man in motion right. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now the try here for the extra point. And the lead is now 13. Makes this, makes the score. Commanders 27, Panthers 14. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it right. does, at Thank least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that leads you to be and they're going to hurry back to the line now on first and ten it's sanders and the defense closes quickly there he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Black shot. Set. Young will set to throw. He completes this one to Mingo. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. Here we go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Young on third and two. 
into space at the 45. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. First down. First and ten. That's a 46-yard line. First and ten. Young. Oh, hit as he throws there. Incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and ten now, third quarter from Charlotte. Clock, ten. Set, cut. It'll be Young again. And that'll be incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tap. Let's go over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Young. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. Racing to the end zone. He's had a fantastic rookie season. Made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll try to run this one in. 
Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Ready? Now Young. Dancing to his left. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Jonathan Mingo from three yards out. And the Panthers take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Pretty important third-quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of filling the interception. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. to throw this to McLaurin out on the left side nine yards not quite enough and they'll be left now with third and one so they just need one yard here to pick up the first down Robinson will try to pick it up. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he will find his man, Samuel. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. First down, Washington. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. The tight end in motion right. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. Touchdown, Washington. 
into. A big play there. 54 yards. And the Commanders add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, Charles, kind of the future of his franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Pushes him over, knocks over another. And he'll be close to another first down. In fact, he has a first down on a gain of 10. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Black Ultra. Now a second down throw for Young. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Meanwhile, Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Claude Ray. Ready. It's Young on first down. Open man. Once again, it's Thielen. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the 23, this is second and three. Again, it's Young. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! 
Hayden Hurst with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Now back to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Shotgun hand off to Gibson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. and 10. And he completes this one to Terry McClure. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 19. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. That one looks like he'll throw here. And it's caught. And the commanders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Gibson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. A try here for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. 
Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Rashid Shaheed on the return. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. Here we go. Here this we is go. first and 10. 22 needle. Hut, hut. Ready. Here's Young. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. The clock stopped, 50 seconds to play, second and 10. Young, that's caught by Mingo, right side. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. They need to score, and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. Red, yellow. Ready? Young to throw. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. They'll try again here, second and ten. So the false start will back them up five. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Here comes second down. Ready? Now Young. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And this is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year, and our score will stay right where it is. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And then, folks, this drive had a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them hovering up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again.
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They'll find Everett there complete. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. 